everybody, including him. The divine spirits, I mean, God makes mistakes in this mythology, and thus the gods made a primary error. Instead of leaving the elves and men to fight out their way under the guidance of God, they, they invited the elves because uh, the, 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 the rebel amongst them, the wicked. God, uh, Milko, was alive, uh, was a, a devastated large part of the world. They took them back into their paradise to the west to protect them. And so the whole machinery starts from the uh, from the re rebellion of the elves and their fall in rebellion of the, of the evil they did in the bursting out from paradise. So what you've got in, the, in our period is uh, two lots of elves, ones that, uh, that never started, just didn't want to be bothered to be anything higher than they were, were the uh, ordinary woodland elves of the far, uh, far East. Those who started to go to uh, the divine paradise and never got there, which are the grey elves of uh, of uh, of the West, and those who got and came back as exiled. The uh, high elves who sing this uh, the, the song to Elbereth in the beginning of the Lord of the Rings are, are exiled elves, who had once known what it was to see the genealogic gods in, uh, in person. Now dwarves create a difficulty, don't they, in this particular thing? They have certain grievances against men and against, uh, uh, against elves. They, they are incarnate in, in bodies rather like ourselves. We don't know much about them, but they apparently are mortal, though they are long, longevity. Where do they come into the scheme? Well, of course, they a great deal of thought to, uh, to, to provide their origin. I won't think, I don't think I was saying about it at the moment. But they have a rational origin related to that theme, but they are not uh, a part of the children of, of God. No, that means that's, that's all I can really say about this. Yes. Men are just men. 